Hey everyone, First Order here, and welcome back to another Star Wars video. Now, in this one, we'll be discussing Battlefront 2 EA Play and what to expect from Battlefront 2 and the future summer updates. So, actually, I haven't made a Battlefront 2 video in well over a year. My last one was about the Han Solo DLC, though, so that kind of just tells you how much I'm keeping up to date with this game. Today's video is basically going to be speculation regarding EA Play and Battlefront 2. So, EA is going to be focusing on Jedi Fallen Order, the new Star Wars game coming out in November for EA Play, which is probably a good. PR move, considering there are still people who think Battlefront 2 is pay to win. So focusing on the new game, the new light, is in my opinion good for marketing. But anyway, back to Battlefront 2. Now some developers will be at EA Play, but they're not going to be having a panel like they did last year. Instead, they're going to be releasing three community transmissions on June 7th. Usually, everyone, uh, future Sean here, I misspoke. I talk about for a couple minutes speculating on the two to three community transmissions to release on June 7th. I misspoke. It's actually, it's the length of two or three transmissions in one transmission. My bad, misspoke. I go on a couple minutes talking about that, speculating on what each transmission could be. But just ignore that. Just think I'm talking about one because it's going to be one huge community transmission with a lot of stuff in it. So instead of just thinking of it as three community transmissions, just... Just think of it as me speculating what's going to be in the community transmission. All right. Okay. Back to the video. We get these every two to three weeks depending on the update. We'll get it a week before the update. It'll detail what this update's going to be. Like, we've got one for Anakin Skywalker, Capital Supremacy, Kamino, everything. But the thing is, we'll be getting three. Three community transmissions in one day. And they've confirmed they'll be releasing a community update video in the middle of June. And then the update will release in June 26. Now, they haven't done this before. They haven't released three community transmissions in one day. So something's going to happen. Now, the thing is, what? So, so far, all that's on the roadmap for June is the final Capital Supremacy map, Naboo. However, in a community post on Reddit, a developer stated that there will be more than just a map. So, it is time to speculate. Let's think about what the first three community transmissions will be. First off, it will most likely be the Naboo transmission, where they go into what has changed about the map and how Capital Supremacy will work on the map. Naboo is mostly linear, it's literally a freaking straight line. So it's going to be a little hard fitting it into Capital Supremacy. You know, all of the Capital Supremacy maps have like a circular area. You know, Cam Camino, that's a circle. Kashyyyk is literally a circle. Genos is in a new map. So could we possibly see a new map for Naboo? I mean, the second community transmission may be a roadmap update showing off what new additions will be coming out in June along with Naboo and the other summer months, July and August. And the third may be content that will be announced within it. So something new that we don't know about yet. So let's speculate. Based off the leaks and past data mining, the Republic Commando's weapon is in the game files. Commandos have been a heavily requested item since launch, and having lines such as Clone Commando incoming from battle droids was always odd due to there being no Commandos. I remember during the pre-order play, like whenever you pre-order Battlefront 2, you could play it like a week early for I think like two hours or something. People were data mining everything, files, trying to figure out everything in the game, and they leaked all the voice files, and people heard droids saying clone commando incoming they instantly thought a clone commando would be in the game so i do feel that clone commandos will be announced in the transmission but with commandos you need a separate to side you know you need to uh like you, you got the arc trooper and the droid commando you need a republic commando and then i'm hoping i'm hoping for droidicas you know droidicas has always been a thing that fans want or you know a crash speeder droidicas is honestly i believe probably the most requested item if not the second most requested item to be in Battlefront 2. They've been requested ever since the launch, and this, this game's almost two years old, like, th I think <laughs> it's been two years. DICE has definitely tried, like, beta testing Droidicas. I could be willing to bet, like, a hundred bucks that they've, like, tried to make Droidicas, or just couldn't have enough time, but it's been two years, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if Droidicas is announced, considering it's been so long, and you need something with Republic Commandos. I honestly don't expect these to release in June, I expect the Naboo map in June, but I expect smaller things to release with June being updated. Like, they've been testing emotes for ARC Troopers and Droid Commandos, so that I feel like would definitely be coming. But honestly, just thinking about it, they could just replace the Wookiee Warrior with the Commando on like 90% of the maps and call it a day, which would be the lazy route, but in all honesty, the most likely. It's depressing to see what's happened to reinforcements. I remember late 2017, early 2018, reinforcements like the Rebel Pilot being data mined and playable. 
that had like an orbital bombardment ability that was a copy and paste from Battlefront 2's ability. Other things I see being announced are more eras in Capital Supremacy. Currently, it's just Clone Wars only. I would love original trilogy era Capital Supremacy on maps like Tatooine and Hoth. I would 100% dig that. It'd be pretty easy, actually, considering they already have a Mon Calamari cruiser and a Star Destroyer in-game. The capital ships are on Endor Starfighter Assault, and the interior of a Mon Cala is in the campaign. So making those maps should actually be pretty easy, considering they already have the files for it. I hope we see those because having Capital Supremacy Hero Era locked is fine. I, I understand why they did it. But, you know, I miss playing as Vader or Luke. I have to play that in Galactic Assault, but honestly, I can rarely find a full match. It's always like a half-filled match. It takes about 5-10 minutes to find a full lobby. Or even a playable lobby in that matter. But everyone's playing Capital Supremacy. So seeing a new era in Capital Supremacy, I, for the love of God, I hope it's the original trilogy, not the sequel era. So... It would be nice having that because you get four heroes on each side. You know, for the Empire, you can do Vader, Palpatine, Boba Fett, throw in uh, Bosk in there. The Rebellion, you get Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie. It's, you know, it's it's easy. I'd, I'd love that because especially on maps like Tatooine and Hoth, like those maps are just screaming to be added into Capital Supremacy, especially the Tatooine map. I see people making up mocks of that on the Battlefront Reddit all the time. But anyway, giving us the original trilogy in Capital Supremacy would allow us to play more of that and I'd be a nice little change because I love the Clone Wars the Clone Wars is my favorite era don't get me wrong but you know they've been, they've been adding that for just a constant Clone Wars for a little bit so you know I want more Clone Wars but at the same time I want them to to also add more original trilogy era things like you know Rogue One for example anyway I do not expect a new map to be announced like Coruscant, Mustafar, or Utapa. And if it is announced, don't expect it to come out till winter. I remember they announced Geonosis to come out winter 2018 last year, and then it got delayed to February, right? February or early 2019. So if they're going to announce a new map, it's going to be for winter 2019. Weapons are also a huge thing missing. I see everyone calling for new weapons and like doing memes saying like, well, that was an effing lie when they show, like, advertising trailers saying new weapons will be added. But honestly, before you add new weapons, you gotta improve the weapons currently in the game. Some of the best weapons in Battlefront 2 right now are the default blasters. But the thing is, you're at a disadvantage when you use the default blasters. The ones like the E-11 for the Stormtroopers, the DC-17 for the Clone Wars, and the, the DH-17 for the Rebel Officers. Like, those are some of my favorite weapons from Star Wars. But you can't add attachments to them, so you're already at a disadvantage compared to other blasters. <sighs> Why should I use the E11 when I can use the AC280, I believe, that with an increased range and reduced recoil? It's like connecting it for Call of Duty, for example, because they recently had Modern Warfare trailer. It's like going into a gunfight with a standard uh, AK-47 or M4A1 or something. Basically a standard assault rifle. You have no attachments, and the other person has a long barrel and a grip. So they are in an advantage while you're in a disadvantage. So I want to use the E11. I want to use the default clone blaster so bad, but whenever I do, I feel like I suck or I'm at a disadvantage compared to somebody else using the CR2 with reduced recoil. That can f kill me in three seconds. So I'd love them to upgrade default weapons to make them more usable in Battlefront 2. And finally, one last thing that could be announced at EA Play, more heroes. A famous leaker among the Battlefront community is some underscore info, and he has stated that Ahsoka and Asajj Ventress are being worked on. He said that two months ago, and they he said that they've been in development for one or two months, and the release window is two to three months. So, you know, him saying that two months ago and him saying the release window is two to three months, we could possibly get an announcement of Ahsoka and Asajj Ventress. So I have three theories for this. Either we see them at the end of June, as if for a huge surprise, like just announce them at June 7th, announce they're adding Ahsoka and Asajj Ventress, or we see them sometime in the summer, July or August, and they announce them at EA Play and just say, hey, Ahsoka and Asajj Ventress will be coming out July 26th or something. Or, the, I think the most likely scenario, they announce them coming in November, to coincide with the release of Clone Wars Season 7. Now, I know the last one is depressing, considering we have to wait a long time, but they have done this before. I know they say this all the time in the comment section on like Battlefront subreddit. I really think it's just a load of BS. They say that they only release things when they're done. And when they're done, they release them immediately. That is BS because the clone trooper skins were in the game files in November of 2017. They were playable in the PC through mods and you just 
released them late 2018 into early 2019. And it, it was over a year that they released the clone skins. You could play as a 501st trooper a year and a half ago. So, you know, <laughs> it's like, I understand that they want to release things, but at the same time, I think they're just covering their ass there because n no, you know, clone troopers were playable forever. The arc trooper, you could play as the arc trooper. I remember seeing videos of people data mining playing the arc trooper in the rebel pilot. M maybe the rebel pilot isn't finished or something. I, I understand that part, but the clone skins that just completely disregards that theory. So they do delay things to release with a certain topic. They delayed the clone trooper skins to be released alongside Anakin Skywalker, Geonosis, General Grievous, and Kenobi. They, they waited for all that. So, them waiting to release Ahsoka and Asajj Ventress to release with the Clone Wars Season 7 on Disney Plus would make a lot of sense logically. And one little tiny thing, he also stated that hero skins are being worked on and being finalized. Skins are a tricky thing because they need to be confirmed by Lucasfilm. Apparently, Lucasfilm is actually really bad at responding and if you remember a few months ago they announced they needed people for games development in lucasfilm and the news articles were like painting articles saying like oh lucas arts is coming back praise jesus and all this crap but the job listing was just for ea and lucasfilm to have better communications that's it the only skins some underscore info confirmed were luke skins which would be perfect considering he only has three and he's literally one of the main characters of the star wars universe you know Let's see how many skins for Luke I can think without hesitating. <sighs> Alright, we got Tatooine Luke, Bespin Luke, Pilot Luke, Dagobah Luke, a variation of the Hoth Luke just with damaged face due to the Wampa, classic Episode 6 Luke, Episode 6 Luke with the white stripe showing, hooded Luke from Episode 6 in the beginning on his ta when he's in Tatooine in Jabba's Palace, Crate Luke, Ock 2 Luke, and the Luke Skywalker at the end, at the, what, no, not, not at the end, the Luke Skywalker with the uh, Jedi Temple with Kylo Ren. That the Kylo Ren kills uh, his students. That Luke, I love that skin. But what is that, 11? That's 11 skins? That's 11 skins and th they've only added three. You know, it's kind of BS, especially for Luke Skywalker. I love s other skins like Battle Damage Vader. That's a highly requested one. I can easily, easily see them making that like an 80,000 credit skin. If Vader is at a low enough health, his breathing starts to be damaged. You could easily just make that a standard, like, battle damaged General Grievous. His, uh, bot, like, if you play the game, you know. His body's, like, shattered and there's, like, smoke coming off him. Copy, paste, put it on Vader, make his breathing slower, make his, like, see his face. That'd be a great skin. And something I also love is Clone Wars or even Solo Maul. The dark side villains are lacking in skins so much and it's depressing. And Clone Wars Anakin. I'm actually saving up for that. I'm sure that's going to be released in the game, but we don't have it yet, so we'll have to wait and see. I haven't bought a skin with real money in Battlefront 2, but if DICE can show the community they are dedicated to release skins, I feel more inclined to buy them. Games like Fortnite and Apex Legends release new skins every couple days. Therefore, people know the developers are reliable on skins. Why should I buy a skin when the next time they release one, I'll already have enough credits to buy it? You know? Anyway... That was today's video. Right now I'm looking at this 18 minutes long. I'll probably edit this down a bunch, so don't worry about that, but this is a Battlefront 2 video. I haven't made one in over a year. It's crazy. So expect a little bit more Battlefront 2, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I have a really fun video idea in the works with some friends right now, and I'm going to try to do that. Kind of a fun Battlefront 2 friends night or something. And then I want to cover Jedi Fallen Order a bunch. They haven't announced anything yet, so... I haven't had nothing to do. There's Star Wars has literally been dead ever since Star Wars Celebration, other than Galaxy's Edge. That kind of rose it up a bit. But, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I'm clocking in at 20 minutes, so that's cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, blast a like, and all that good stuff. And since it's going to be much longer than 10 minutes, hopefully YouTube's going to like me and, and push this in the algorithm a little bit. So, yeah. If you are new, which you are, I'm the first order. Hit the subscribe button. But no bell notification, all that jazz. If you sticked around this long, thank you. Bless you. Anyway, this is the First Order. Signing out. For the Republic! Joy Fleet, get ahead! Bank hard! Incoming! Pretty sure I got it. You cannot kill Sith.